The Foreign Minister and Head of the European Mediation Mission, Bernard Kushner, has seen for himself the conditions with the refugees from South Ossetia are living in. Well, he visited one of the biggest refugee camps in North Ossetia, Alania, a region that's part of Russia and borders South Ossetia. People have been telling the French minister of the horrors of war and their suffering, and they pleaded for his help. Kuchina said the main goals of his visit are to push for a ceasefire agreement as soon as possible. We were massacred, killed like flies, Nazis. I have a two-story building. It was destroyed by Grad. I miraculously survived. There is a fascist in Georgia. In the evening, Saakashvili made a TV address saying, Ossetians, I love you. Sleep well. We thought he had come to his senses finally. But then, when we fell to sleep, the firing started. We rushed to the basement, and our house was on fire. The Georgians were using banned weapons. Our house was hit by Grad. Strong shooting, and uh, it was 12, uh, 12 hours. 12 hours. Georgians were killing children and old people. I saw with my own eyes an old woman going along with her two grandchildren, run over by a tank. Saakashvili is the second Saddam Hussein. He has to be shot down. It's the second time there's been genocide of the Ossetian people. Our children are being killed and show no mercy. Innocent people are being killed. Please, help us if you can. Please. A very sad impression. You know, so was the case with refugees and in a camp like that. You're feeling very, very, very sad in thinking what they have crossed to come here and uh, the way they suffered and they are still suffering. And of course, they have lost some of their belongings, yes, but beloved people too. So it's uh, really awful to see all this uh, suffering and refugees. And you know that 18 camps are like that. So the emergency is to make peace, to make peace, to get a, a, a ceasefire on both sides, because this is their life, their families, and their children. And, uh, and, and they don't understand why they have been bombed in the middle of the night, which I believe uh, was true.